I did the ancestry DNA test so this is the update video finally I finally got my results so I'm just gonna go ahead and tell y'all what I got like I got these results a couple days ago and I was kind of surprised um, <laughs> at the results so yeah let's just get into it so um, the test started with the largest amount of um, DNA makeup. So, of course, I got 82% African, which I figured it was going to be high. Um, and the countries that I got were Cameroon, Congo, 30%, Ivory Coast, Ghana, 17%, Benin, Togo, 12%, Senegal is 8%, Mali is 6%, and Nigeria is 6%. And then they give you um, trace regions, which they go on to describe as regions where you seem to have just a trace amount of genetic ethnicity. So for the African trace regions, I got Africa Southeastern Bantu, 2% and North Africa is less than 1%. Then I got 3% Native American, 2% um, Asia, which is Central Asia. I got 12% European, um, which is the Iberian Peninsula, 4%, which would be Spain and Portugal. I got Scandinavia, which is 3%. Great Britain 2%, Western Europe is less than 1%, Ireland less than 1%, and Italy, Greece is less than 1%. I also got Pacific Islander, which is less than 1%, and um, that is from Melanesia, which is um, the Solomon Islands or Papua New Guinea. And um, yeah. Like I said, uh, I was pretty surprised at the results because I really had no idea. So it's kind of cool to see like all the different regions. And um, now I'm researching the different countries and areas to get to know like a little about their culture, the languages they speak, um, food and stuff like that. So I would highly recommend anyone that has no idea of your origins or even if you know a little bit about them and you want to know more, I highly recommend um, taking the test. It's $99, but I think that like it's well worth it. So definitely take the test if you can. And yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Bye.